So today I am speaking about something that um, is a little painful for me at this moment. Um, I had a, an experience with a colleague that uh, <clears throat> spirit came through and wanted to deliver a message and you know, if you're watching this, then you probably already know that I have given myself to God in service in a way. Um, what, what I call God, the all that is, the love that created and makes possible everything and anything. Um, so I got this really strong impression and asked if I could... <clears throat> speak to the person who the message was for and so I should tell you what happened as this message was coming through so the first thing that happens is um, there is this uh, energy that wells up in my chest and feels like it wells up in the chest and it kind of starts to come up like this and feels like if I don't do something with it, I might explode. That's kind of the feeling. Um, it is a very strong sensation within the body. And um, that feeling was there. When the message was coming through and I was allowing it to come out, it was... I would say like I was basking in the light and love of God. Um, my personality self is, is there, but I'm just, I'm feeling all of this love and peace and, and expansion and, and connection with all that is. And I'm feeling that and not really cognizant of everything, the words that are coming out. <clears throat> now, this message was given, and <clears throat> just one second. So the message was given, and there was this beautiful, um, I felt like, understanding between us, and then, you know, after this message came out, I felt very close to the co-worker uh, because, of course, I was feeling the love that Father Mother God has for my co-worker, you know. So I felt this very close connection. And very, very shortly, though, by the time she walked from my car to her car, because we had stopped at my car as I shared this message and she walked to her car. Um, by the time she got to her car, like three parking spaces away, I felt uh, immediate panic ensue in my form. And I wasn't sure what that was about. Uh, I got in the car and I was driving. And as I was driving, the panic got more intense. And I believe some of that was now in hindsight which we'll get to that. I believe I know what that panic was. So I had to remind myself because the panic was so intense and it was, it was so intense that it distracted me like completely. And uh, I couldn't focus on anything else. There was this immediate, this, the fear was like, like of, 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 I would say of crucifixion or of, of being, um, of annihilation somehow. Anyway, um, fast forward. I did, I communicated with my husband and told him what had happened. And I said, and after the fact, you know, I'm horrified at what, the, that I gave this message to someone that was a coworker, a colleague, because not everybody, 
not everybody is receptive. So that did happen. Um, and we talked about it and I, you know, I said, I know that it was what I meant to do because I agreed to it. And I was reminded of that. You agreed to this. You agreed to be the vessel. You agreed to speak when asked. You agreed. And I did. And even, you know, even counseled by spirit saying, um, if, if you're told this message, this person is to be given this message, even if you know that you are going to, that you will receive some sort of retaliation, if it is the will of God, will you do it? Would you do it anyway? And I said, well, yes, I would do it anyway. Well, n now you know where you are. Okay, so. Um, anyway, uh, fast forward a week, not even maybe, I don't remember how long ago it was. And I find out that my coworker had said something to, my supervisor had said something to the regional director and the regional director spoke to me and of course um you know the gist of it is you know we really like you and you're doing a great job um i they wanted she wanted to caution me about um unsolicited advice and these kinds of things um and it brought up a lot of past issues um, where uh, spirit had inspired conversations uh, that were overheard by others and then how I received judgment or scrutiny from those who the message was not for but had overheard the message and you know I it's hard for me because I like to think that the one receiving the message will understand the message because it's for them. However, in this instance, <clears throat> I'm not sure whether the recipient was ready. Um, it was communicated to me, and I, as the message was coming through, that this message was attempted. It's been given repeatedly, and and the recipient of the message wasn't hearing it. And so, so it came through me. <clears throat> um, as uncomfortable as this is, and it really is, I can't, this video is really only going to make sense to those who, who have allowed certain gifts to come in, who have agreed to work for with the spirit of god to whatever degree or you know have some kind of work that's in alignment with this <clears throat> feeling as i i put out a facebook post yesterday and i said i feel defeated and that is how I feel. I feel defeated. You know, in the moment, it's this beautiful, wonderful thing. In the aftermath, something else takes over and fear comes in. Not just for me, but possibly for the recipient. And, you know, we <clears throat> start to hear the chatter of the mind, the chatter of the personality self and what was a beautiful thing becomes something else. So I have been reassigned to another supervisor, not at my request, but the RD felt like that was the right thing to do for, I'm going to say all concerned, um, because I communicated that I could not promise that this would not happen again. Um, and I still can't, and it could be somebody else next time. Um, I, 
was basically being asked to control, to stifle, to not deliver these messages. Uh, maybe in the work setting, maybe in the world in general. And, you know, I... At this point in my life, I am, I am inseparable from that which wishes to speak. So to say I'm feeling like not accepted, not appreciated, not welcome here, because to ask me to not do this is asking me not to be asking me not to breathe um and these are the complications that i have with being in the world because In order to be in the world and survive here, we are asked to be of the world to a degree. It's almost like you have to be of the world in order to survive. And I guess that's where I'm at is trying again to find my place in it. I know, I know my work. I was hoping that I could do what is asked of me and still have an income. <laughs> so maybe I need to look more into that. You know, how do I, how do I do the Lord's work? Let's say the Lord's work. How do I do the Lord's work and still be able to put food on the table and still be able to, um, it is definitely a challenge. I'm disappointed because I thought I found, I, th I really thought I found a place among people that would be accepting and understanding of this blessing. Uh, and it seems like that is not the case. So once again, I'm evaluating where I am whether or not to stay in this in this career in this vocation or to move on to something else um i'm going to have to there's a lot of contemplation and a lot of meditation and some tarot readings <laughs> That I'm going to have to do here to unravel this because, you know, I've, I have felt like this so many times in my life and every time it hurts, it really hurts. And spirit said to me this morning, but who is it that hurts? And of course it's not the Christ. The Christ doesn't hurt. The Christ needs nothing. It's the personality self. So perhaps, perhaps this is just another opportunity to let go of more of the personality structure because Christ is completely unaffected by what has transpired and Christ is standing firmly in the the peace and love of God and saying the message was to be delivered and it matters not how it's received it matters not the outcome it matters not all that matters is the word the message of God. All that matters is the light of truth. And I'm reminded now of the moment when Jesus was on the cross and said, Father, why have, have thou forsaken me? Because in the moment that You know you're doing the right thing. You know you know you're doing the will of God because you're standing in it. You're standing in the light of God. Like that feeling is nothing. There is nothing that compares to that feeling. And it's not it has 
never anything I've been able to do by my own achievement. There's nothing I could do to get there and to be in that place. So I'm reminded that it absolutely is the truth. It absolutely is divine. And that I might look at this another way and be grateful. You know, here's the gratitude. Where is your gratitude? You asked. You asked to be the vessel. You asked to be the speaker. You asked for it. Where is your gratitude? Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to speak loving messages to those who haven't yet heard. Give me strength, strengthen my resolve, strengthen my resolve that I continue to do the work no matter what the odds, no matter what transpires, no matter what comes of it. We know not what it's for. Yes, I know. We know not what it's for. I hope this message finds you well. When you have moments of challenge, struggle, and strife, you are not alone. We all struggle. We all have challenges until we don't need them anymore. And I'm being told right now that the day will come, the day will come when there will be no fear, when I will be empowered always, when I will be able to speak without fear of retaliation, without fear or judgment, In peace and in love may be blessed.